What is happening, people? Hey, guys. Today is the uh, second day of April. The wind is blowing about 25 miles per hour, and it's cold, and I'm not fishing. So normally, if you watch my videos, you know I would probably be fishing. Today, I'm going to bring up a reality that we all have to face as fishermen, is we have to maintain our equipment. And part of that maintenance is oiling our reels, cleaning our reels, cleaning our rods. And so that brings me to a point. And I will scent this oil, Dig In Real Oil. It's made by Dig In Anchors. Uh, it's who it's made by. And Michael Grady sent this to me, asked me to do a review on it, check this oil out. Hey, and it couldn't have come at a better time because I had a couple of reels. I had ran out of some old oil that I had, and I had some reels that I really needed to clean and to oil. So thank you, Michael, for sending me this. And this is a one ounce bottle, and it also comes in a two ounce bottle, and already I've cleaned a few reels. I've used this on uh, one of my shotguns. I I used this on my rabbit gun, you know, it's the end of the season, and oiled it down, and hey, it did a fantastic job. And one of the things that makes this oil special is it bonds to the metal and leaves a coating so it doesn't rust. And as we all know, rust is not our friend. So today, we're going to go through and I'm going to show you how I clean one of my reels. It's not a real expensive reel. And I'll be the first to say I am not a real mechanic. I do not have good luck taking reels completely apart and fixing parts in them and putting them back together. I leave that for the experts. If I have an expensive reel and it is broken, I send it back to the manufacturer or their representative and actually, or dealer to actually fix it. So at the end of this video, I will give away a bottle of this Dig In Real Oil right here. Dig In Real Oil. Hey guys, let's go get started and take this reel down and get it oiled up. Let's clean this reel up. Um, real quick and I'll just show you how I go through it and as you know with this uh, dig in real oil it is a clean it cleans and it also lubricates so we're going to use the same oil to clean this reel up and you can see it's got it's banged up pretty good and uh, so hey let's get started so first of all let's just remove this cap here and this holds our spool on and you'll have a lot of dirt that gets under this. Okay, so there's the spool off and you can see underneath it if you've never seen it, if you're familiar with it, uh, I do this. And now let's take this handle off. Move that very quickly. Okay, and that gets us, uh, that kind of strips the reel down into the pieces. Now at this point, what I like to do, and I'm, I'm, and again, I'm just maintaining uh, this reel. I'm going to start cleaning this reel here so I can get to the bottom of um, the spool here. I can get to the shaft. I can get to where the handle mounts handle, and I can also clean this. So. Normally, I like to start, if I'm just cleaning it, I'll just use a few drops of this Dig In Real Oil. And I guess I should have got me some gloves. And, you know, basically, I want to clean. You know, reels are so bad about, you know, you get fish slime on your hands and all over your reel. And... If you're fishing for catfish or stripers with live bait or any. Uh, so here's our cap. Also, there's a place here. You get a lot of uh, dirt, debris on your cap. Now, one tip for you guys. I fish at the coast uh, right often. And when I go to coastal, if you're dealing in salty conditions with any of your equipment reels and rods especially every day after i come off the boat or i come off the pier or i'm surf fishing i'll take a water hose 
and I will rinse that reel off. Once I am home, I will take Dawn dishwashing liquid, Joy, lukewarm water. I will wet those rods and I will give, I will give them a bath with soap and water and rinse them off uh, uh, thoroughly. And then I will use some dig in real oil and I'll give them a good coat of oil and that way I know the next time I get to go fishing, even if that's almost a, 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 year, a year away, then I know that those reels and rods will be ready to go. And, and on to the reel itself. And see how nice that cleaned up there. Almost looks brand new. Just cleaning this reel, but just take your time. Takes a little time to clean. These reels have not been cleaned in a while. And that's getting it's getting pretty clean. Boom. Now see I'm gonna put some oil on this shaft, but I'm not gonna do it just yet till I get into the reel. So you'll notice on about all open face reels, you'll have uh, some excess screws. And most of the time Okay, last last but not least, we have our last screw out. Now I'm gonna try to lift this all up without creating too much. Now, let me make this comment. Sometimes, depending on the way this is designed, you can't, there will be a keeper ring on this inside and you can't get this plate all the way out. Now, I'm gonna be real honest with you. Some of you guys are talented enough out there. See, that don't easily come out there. Some of you guys are talented enough to take this reel completely apart and put it back together, but I can tell you that I'm not that talented. I like to maintain my reels, but I don't take reels apart. I leave that for the experts. If I have So at the end of this video, uh, I'm going to give away one of these bottles of Dig In Real Oil. And the, all you do is pay the shipping and handling. And that's all you have to do to get a free bottle and try this, uh, try this real oil. So we'll do that at the end of the video. You send me information, I will forward it on to Michael Grady, and then he will ship that to you. That's probably the safest way I know to do it to protect all of us. But anyway, hey, you can't ever be too careful, right? A reel will come from the factory with factory grease in it. Uh, kind of a thick looking white grease is what I've noticed. And over time, that grease will just harden up and these reels will get very difficult to actually turn. Now at this point here, this is normally what I do. Now you can try to take this apart if you want to. Good luck if you do. But this is what I do. I get a reel that's sticking and I need to clean up and even maintain or either Either I'm going to clean it up beginning of the year if it gets stiff. You see you have a gear right here. I will drop a little oil on this. And if you notice, this oil has got a good viscosity to it. And so it's not going to take a lot of oil. And I'll tell you something else. And there's a gear on the bottom. And here's a gear right here. So I'm not going to fill this reel full of oil simply for the reason it'll come out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little oil on the reel while it's open. I'm gonna place my handle back inside and I'm gonna just give it some turns without letting anything come loose. And I'm gonna allow that oil to work its way around. See that shaft going up and down there. Now let's let that shaft all the way down. I'm going to drip a little oil right here on this back of the shaft. A little more here. Now, what's that? Five drops I've put in this reel? That's it. Five drops. Now, 
it's already feeling better. Now this shaft here, I'm gonna put a little on that shaft. That way the shaft can move up and down. And then we're gonna put a little bit on this gear here. And I know somebody's gonna comment that I'm doing this incorrectly, but you know, hey, it's worked for quite a few years. Now, <clears throat> let's put the plate back on it and we will return all of these screws Okay, all the screws is back in, so we will reinsert the handle, and we will just drop just a tad on this handle. And, you know, already using this oil, I lube my guns and clean my guns up with the same oil. So if you guys want to try this oil it also works on guns hey it works for me all right we'll get that tightened up i'm really fe already feeling better so i'll return the spool give it a click let it slide down i always like to turn it like this to make sure Everything seated well. Scout returns. I get to drag close and then set it after it's on the reel. But boom, there you go. So that reel is back together and it feels so much smoother than it did prior to me starting. Now, I will wind it backwards and forwards and the more like i said the more that i use this reel i'm gonna turn around this way so i can wind it the more i use this reel the more i turn this reel the more that lube will get on those gears so hey guys i hope you've seen something in the video that you liked i hope you've seen something in the video that you learned hey call these guys right here I'm going to put the link in the description below to dig in anchors. Hey, check them out. Those guys have got some really interesting anchors. They have those dig in anchors. They have them to fit all sorts of boats, even pontoon boats. And in a, lots of times in the applications, you can use bolt holes or bolts already on your boat so you don't have to drill any holes. So that's interesting to me. But anyway, I'm going to put the link in the description below of how you can order some of this oil. Hey, give it a try. It's great oil. It's sticky all over my fingers right now. I just got through uh, oiling this reel here. But hey, it's great oil. Give them a shout out. At least go to the website and check them out. I hope you've seen something in the video that you liked. Hope you've seen something in the video that you learned. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the like button. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wild life, and I'll see you on the water.